Hello, I'm Amber Uper, and this video is a model kit review. And for this kit review, we have the uh, the Gotha G4 in 172nd scale, as made by Roden. And uh, Roden is a company out of uh, of Ukraine, I do believe. Yeah, let's see. So this is the box. Obviously, it's a nice big box. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty good size um, kit, actually, in 172nd scale. Uh, let's see here. Okay. So let's open the box. Now the box, when it came, this was ordered from uh, uh, eBay, and when it came, it... Uh, didn't have cellophane on it or anything, so I don't know if that's the way Rodan packages their kits or not, but so there's that. So here we are, and uh, here's your uh, decals, and the uh, kit instructions, here's all the painting, and yeah, let's see here, here's the, uh, the parts, there's a lot of parts in this kit. It's, uh, it's a, it looks like a nicely done kit. Here's your body part. Um, a, lot of, a lot of different stuff. Let's take a look at the, uh, at the instructions first, shall we? Just got to open up the bag here. And get my handy dandy exacto knife. We'll open up the bag. If I can manage to do it. <laughs> there we go. I don't want to just rip it open. Alright, so. Take a look, quick look at the details first here. All right, these uh, these do look like uh, good quality decals. I'll say that. We'll put them back. As I find out which end I open, huh. must be this end. Uh, here's your information in several different languages. We open it up. And there's a, uh, there's some painting instructions. Uh, let's see. Uh, these are different. Uh, Different airplane insignia here, along here and here. So, a couple different uh, ways to do this. Oh, I see. These are all just um, uh, a couple more different uh, insignia. All right. So let's take a look here. Here we have the parts layout, and then uh, your uh, sub assemblies. Instructions are pretty good. They're not uh, not too shabby. Hmm. Uh, decent motors. It's one seventy second scale. You can't expect you know too much. Yep. And there's your wing strut uh, wiring rigging, whatever. It looks like they've got quite a few different um, um, paint schemes or, or variations in the uh, decals, whatever. One variation they're not showing you here is the lozenge pattern uh, wings, which is also a possibility. This is just your basic um, camouflage. 
And let's see here. Another camouflage scheme. So there's your instructions. Those are pretty good. So let's take a look at the at the, at the model parts. I get to open the bag. All right, I'll move the box. Over. I'll move the box up there so we can put the different parts in. parts right out here. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. First we'll take a look at the body. Yeah, you know, you can see how big it is. Pretty nice uh, body altogether. Got some interior detail. That's pretty good. Got some flash there. Let's see, what's this? Yeah, parts. Not sure what all the parts are for, but I'm sure the instruction manual will uh, make that clear. Ah, here's your engines, at least one of them. Wheels, landing wheels, bombs, lots of bombs, bomb racks, and propeller, engine cowlings. Okay. See what we got here. The other engine cowlings, the other engine detail, all that same stuff. More bombs. Is your? Uh, I do believe this is the landing gear, although I could be wrong. That could be just in between the wing struts. Oh. Got some clear plastic for um, Whatever those are, probably your uh, side windows and stuff like that in the plane, in the body. And then we have the wings. Now this wing, as you can see, has a big piece of flash on it, but it doesn't seem to be a problem. It just is uh, the way it was molded. Looks like the, uh, the mold wasn't quite right there, so that'll have to be trimmed in that. There's really not much uh, flash on these. You can see how big the wings are. On wingspan's pretty big. This is the uh, the upper wing here. So you figure that's that long and that long. So let's take a quick look here. We got the ruler, and that wing is six inches, and it goes together in the middle. So you're looking at about a 12 inch wingspan, or um. Yeah. 30 plus centimeters. See that in the centimeters? Yeah, but, you know, 30 and a half centimeters, something like that. So, that's a nice bunch of uh, parts. Looks like it's going to be an interesting uh, model to build. These two sprues seem to be the same as far as the parts on them and everything. It's probably uh, that's how they come. Put that back in there, and that. And the body is, it's a nice body. I like it. Oh, here's a couple of side windows on the body. This is the top front here. This must be so they can see out looking down. And this plane actually has a vision slot through the middle, that's what this thing is, and so the, the, the back gunner here can look down through the middle to see what's coming up from behind them underneath. I thought that was rather interesting. Neat plane. So, I'll put that stuff back together, I'll put that plastic in there, and we'll put the top back on it. And uh, that's one more thing I should add to this. The, uh, the inner box, the bottom, is uh, substantially made out of um, what looks like a narrow uh, corrugated uh, cardboard. So yeah, it's nice and stiff. 
it's not uh, the same thin stuff as what the top is made out of. So it's a good box. So so there you have it, the Gotha G4 as uh, manufactured by Rodin. Thanks for watching.